Okay, we just need to get this two value guys, triangulations, which is the area of the triangulation in this case of this latitude longitude is came from <laughs> Hello, welcome to Rivki the Wizard. <laughs> Just joke. Welcome to Rivki the Cyber. At this moment is the still the Halloween moment, right, guys? So I'm using my Halloween custom to embrace this Halloween moment in this case. But don't worry, I will not talk or tell you about the spooky story in this in this video, guys. But in this video, I'm going to try to answer the comment from my good friend from Sao Paulo, Brazil. You know, right, the Fun Diesel in the Fast and Furious. Brazil. Brazil. So my colleague from Brazil, the name is Marcos Rocha. This is, is the guy. Uh, this is, is using the military hat and this is, is the guy using the... Not using the military hat. And I'm going to put his Instagram here. Actually, Ma Marcos Rocha is the expert from the Sao Paulo, Brazil. He's the expert of the forensic computing and the digital intelligence in this case. Don't forget to follow his Instagram, guys. And he's a very good, almost the same niche like me. By the way, he has the comment. This is his comment. He asking about to make me a video to explain about the silent SMS and also and also how to obtain the geolocation, guys. So hold on for the SMS silent. That is easy. So what I'm going to explain to you only for the uh, how to obtain geolocation in this case. If we are using the sniffing from the LTE, BTS in this case, and we found the MC, and then from that MC, we want to know from which BTS, and we, we want to know from which radius at least this guy belong. So rather than a lot of chatty, I'm going to show you how to do it, guys. So the first thing is, so the first thing is, you need to get the trace file. This is, we just open the trace file like this. See, it's gonna But wait, how we can get this trace file? You can get this trace file from my, you just choose which one of the video. If you are using the Python only, you can choose this video. But if you want to using the Docker and the Wireshark, you can choose this video. So guys, choose which one that you like. And then from that one, you can get some pick up, uh, the pickup file and the pickup file, that the one that I'm going to show you to in this case. And also don't forget to watch my video about the 4G passive MC catcher. This is, is the video guys. Okay, let's go back again. For the first thing we are going to filter this trace and and this is how I filter it guys uh, LTE uh, RRC okay dot UE and then identity equal to zero this is this the one guys okay so from here we can get the MC right if you want to know how I can get this MC you check my video for the passive MC catcher okay and after that we just also need to filter another one the LTE RRC I think this one, the, the identifications. So we are we are using the R. So this one and this one. This is, is came from the same sniffing of the same ERFCN. So we got the MC and also the empty one, this one. This is, is where the cell identification is belong. So we just open this one, guys. Okay. Okay, we just need to get this two value guys this is, is the value of the cell identification or ECGI and this one is the tracking area code or the tag itself okay let's continue guys don't forget to subscribe uh, click on click switch on the bell and share this channel to others so everyone can also can get the benefit from the knowledge that I share in this video let's continue again guys so what we're gonna do we just need for example in this case we just need to uh, copy uh, these two values, guys. Okay, I prefer to like this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Copy, copy, copy all, all the selected. Okay, this one. We just, I'm going to. Okay, I'm going. I just need to check tag area code. This is, is the tag. Okay, excellent. And also, the second thing is. And also, the second thing is we just need to get this one. Okay, this two is enough. And also, I'm going to share it to you. 
this is uh, the MCC and this is, is the MNC that I blur in this case. So we don't need to know the MC and we don't need to know which which operator in this case. So let's let's continue, guys. So we already got this one, this one, this one, and also the MCC. We know it. This is from the 150 and the MNC. This is the one that the MNC. This is the one that I blur it. Okay, no worries. Now what we're gonna do? We just need to open this Unwired Labs. This is, is the open source to geocode everything from the tag, style identifications, Wi-Fi, etc. We can use this one. So lo let's log in with this one, guys. We we'll just try to log in, and then we just need to type the email in this case. Okay, and then I just log in with the email. Excellent. He said, "Okay, I already they already sent the." Okay, this is, is the mail. I got the mail itself. This is, is the mail. So I just need to click the link. This is how we log in with this one. If you cannot do like this, maybe you need to register it first. Easy. Register, put the email, etc. No, what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose the LTE. Okay? And I'm just going to choose this one. I'm just going to put 5150. And this is, is the MNC itself. And also, this is, is the TAC. And also, this is, is the cell ID. Simple. Okay, now we just try to get it from here, right, guys? Okay, let's try this. Oh, yeah, guys, don't forget also to donate. I'm so happy if you want to treat me the coffee. You just need to click this link this in the descriptions of the buy me the coffee. You can put it one cup, two cup, three cup, five cup, 100 cups, whatever it is. I'm so happy Bene if you feel get the, some knowledge or benefit from this video. Boom. Okay, we got this one, guys. So... But somehow the address is not really complete. I just want to make it the two-line address in this case. So let's put it like this. Okay, great, guys. So this one, where is it? Where is it? You, you, can, you can see it from this one. And we can get also from this one. This is the latitude, longitude, right? We just, we just need to copy it from this one. So that means this guy is existing in this latitude, longitude, and in this radius in this case, okay? I know that when I take it, I take it from that ball. But we don't know, right, from which radius that we need to count. So at least from this one, we can see from which dot and from around which radius from that dot from that point. So we can get that MC is resided. Those MC that I just pull it from that one. So it's attached to that one. If you, for example, sniffing again and then you change from another BTS in the same locations, you can find in another ERFCN different BTS. If you can get it too, you can make it dual ligations. If you can make a three, you can make triangulations, right? Okay, guys, this is for the example. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put this latitude, longitude, and I will just put the 500 or 400 here in the example is in this map, for example, guys. So I put in this map, for example, like this, uh, latitude like this, this, and this is the radius, okay? So this is, is the result. So it's make a bigger uh, map, right? Oh, okay, so this is, is the the place when I do the LTE sniffing in this case and I get that MC. Those MC is came from this particular BTS. Okay. Now, what I'm going to show to you is, for example, if we have not dual ignitions, I think bilaterations, if I'm not wrong. So this is, is the example, for example, for the bilaterations, uh, bilaterations, for example, in this case. So I'm just going to put, let's say, like this, and boom, save. And then boom, you can see this union right we not just make for example this but we just make it the more segmented for this one right guys so this is more segmented and let's say for example if we have another the third one let's say like this and we just put it like this here don't worry guys i'm going to put the link of this html file so you can play later in my github i will just put the link of the github in the description of the video as usual so i'm going to put like this example the third one just going to save this. Okay, great. Now we get the triangulations, which is the area of the triangulation. In this case of this latitude, longitude, is came from really only for this area in this example. Hopefully, this is very clear from the LTE sniffing. So, guys, that's why if you can find like same pair for two points, three points, for three points of the dot and the accretions, you can get the triangulations. And from that one, you can get the union. So, it's make... Uh, the location is more granularity of the details itself okay okay guys as i say in my other previous video keep learning and stay hard ah. i'm going to sign it off now